I'm sitting at my desk devising a pressure relief valve for the wearable wings. I think it's a good idea to start with a, a bicycle brake lever and some of this 4 millimeter pressure tube is just to pinch the tube to use this brake lever. The tube is pinched when the lever is closed and it's unpinched by squeezing the lever. I've made a cardboard template and uh, it fits on a plastic tube and operates that way. This will bend and unbend the pressure tube. I've used the template to draw around and mark a sheet of plastic. This plastic cuts easily with the shears. Here's a plastic piece cut and marked. I'm releasing this hose which connected the old pressure release valve which is connected back to the pump. I have to find a way to adapt this connection to this 4 millimeter tube here that connects to the new pressure release valve. I'm unscrewing the connection here. This thick hose has a push fit over a nozzle which is then clamped with this screw. With the screwdriver I can prise off the connection. There. And over the top of the original connection there is a piece of this 5 millimeter pressure hose. So I have to remove that too. There. Here are the components for the new pressure release valve. It's an experimental valve. I don't know yet whether it will seal properly. Here's a bit of core flute. Here's a, a mock-up of the control handle with its rubber grip. Here's a piece of 4 millimeter pressure tube which runs inside the handle. Here's the bracket that we looked at earlier. To hold the pressure tube up against the top of the control handle so that the, the bend in the tube will be sharp. I'm using a piece of core flute which is wedged in with the pressure hose in one of the grooves. This bracket gets uh, screwed into holes, pivoting holes before the next spring is put in, I have to put in this rubber return spring, which hooks on the screw here. This rubber band return spring connects to a screw. on the bottom here. 
Core flute is pushed in until it contacts the pivot screw. The rubber band is put from the screw underneath onto a screw here. Pressure tube goes inside the band and the pivot is screwed in. And the pressure hose is pushed through a hole here. I have the actual control handle here, so I'll dismantle this mock-up setup and put the system together. There's the control handle in place. The lever operates this way. I still have to figure out how to join this 4mm tube to the wide nozzle on the pressure gauge.